Hey guys, there are some interesting news for you all and that's we finally have the legit benchmarks for the Samsung Galaxy A90. Yeah, I know there were many rumors out there that A90 is coming with the Snapdragon 855 which is based on 7nm process and this confirms all the rumors and leaks. So first thing, the Galaxy A90 5G has a model number SM-A98N and it's having a suffix N which indicates that this belongs to South Korea. On the other hand, the SM A98 and the SM A95 without any suffix is for the global markets. Right now, it's having 6 gigs of RAM and scores 3458 in the single core and 10852 in the multi-core scores. And that's a decent performance score. It's on par with the Galaxy Note 10 scores we got a few days back and interestingly, it's even higher than the Galaxy S10 multi-core score we have right now on the top of Geekbench. So that makes it the most powerful phone coming in a few months. That's amazing. Yes, the scores are gonna improve with the final product and the final user interface. Coming with the Samsung Zwen UI based on Pi right now and we may see a new user interface cause usually Samsung announce a brand new interface with the Galaxy Note series and later on they implement this thing for the previous and upcoming phones. So get ready. Now most interesting part is that we are not getting any Exynos variant. We have the Galaxy S10 flagship with the Exynos 9825 and the Note 10 is gonna feature the same in a few markets. So yes, if you are planning to purchase a Samsung phone with the Snapdragon 855 but there is only Exynos variant in your market then you should wait for this one, the Galaxy A90 because it is coming with the SD 855 for the global markets. So all in all, the Galaxy A90 and the A95 g are officially coming really soon with the greatest SoC, 45W super fast charging, 3 cameras on the back panel and one of them will feature a tilt optical image stabilization that's a new feature. The standard A90 has a drop notch on front while there is no information on the 5G A90. It may get a punch hole panel or full screen display or something innovative. So yeah, that's all. And I think at this point, we may see the A90 and A95G really soon. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.